I can tell the story if I don't associate with it. Like I can tell you that it's windy out and the sky is blue. Jacob's kidnapping changed a lot. A child that was absolutely snatched away off the street where he lived by a masked gunman, never to be seen again. Nothing happened immediately. Everything was kind of in slow-mo and too fast at the same time. It's so easy to talk about what you're angry about and what you're fighting against. And this is an opportunity to show what we're fighting for. What was the world that Jacob knew and believed in? Because I refuse to let that go. Wow. That was a quick look at the Jacob Wetterling documentary, which has been uh, four years in the making for a Minnesota filmmaker. And that filmmaker joins us on North Dakota Today. Welcome, Chris Newberry. Thank you so much. Just that little bit definitely uh, grabs you. And for people who don't remember, Jacob was 11 years old, the Minnesota boy that went missing back in 1989. We talked a little bit a little bit in the break about how his story has really touched all of us. But what spurred you to start this documentary? Well, I grew up in Minnesota, and I was 14 years old when Jacob went missing, so just a couple of years older than Jacob. And uh, the impact of his case on me was pretty big. And it, like a lot of people in this part of the country, it, it really stuck with me, the mystery of what had happened over all those years. And so I've always been really fascinated with the story. And you started filming in 2015, much different story in 2015 than shortly after. I mean, none of us had any idea after 25 years that we would get answers. Yeah, yeah. So it was a complete coincidence, our, our timing. We had uh, approached the Wetterling family about making a film in, in the middle of 2015 when it was still a big mystery. And it just so happened that we first started rolling camera on our film the weekend this, that this big break in the case happened. There was this, the arrest of, of the man who would eventually confess to, the, to Jacob's uh, abduction and murder. So people who think wow. they know the whole story and have followed all the news headlines, what makes your documentary different and, and why should they still watch it? Yeah, well, the kind of work that I do is you, 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 uh, you get embedded with uh, your subjects and you spend time uh, building trust, getting to know them. The audience will really get to know uh, the Wetterling family in a way that they haven't seen on the news. Uh, that's just the kind. Of, that's the way I approach storytelling. You, you get an intimate look at people, it and is, of course, these are fascinating is. people with a really inspiring story to tell. What are you hoping the audience gets out of the? Yeah, well, I mean, for me, it's all about impact. I mean, I was impacted by this case, and so many people in this part of the country were. And, uh, and also there's been all this really good work that's been done in Jacob's name. And so Patty Wetterling and I have talked a lot about the ripple effect. If you think about this, just this one night in 1989 and this, this moment in time, like a pe pebble into a pond, and then all these changes in the law and, and the way the, the effects on how we approach parenting a lot, of, it had a big impact, and so that's, that's one of the things. You know, one of the things that jumped out to me in that clip was she says, this is what we're fighting for. So how would you define what we're fighting for? So Patty Wetterling and the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center, which she and her husband founded, they, uh, they're, they're focused on prevention, and they, they talk a lot about uh, how we should talk to our kids, how uh, communities should approach uh, uh, supervision of children and just the discussions around making a safe space for people to talk about uncomfortable things so it and and all that is all in in the in an effort to to make our world a safer place for kids have their views changed from before when it was a mystery to now knowing what happened I mean their views uh, toward the world and no I don't I mean I they, they s still focus on hope and in prevention, like I said, uh, I mean, I know their world is certainly turned upside down again uh, when they finally learned of Jacob's fate. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's been a really I, very tumultuous couple of years for, for them. So for you, you talk about, hey, this happened when I was 14, you make this film. I don't know if you have kids or not, but I do. what was your biggest like, sort of aha or, oh, my gosh, moment making this film? I mean, I... You know, people have asked me, like, what, what surprised you? And it probably shouldn't surprise 
it shouldn't have surprised me to once you get to know the Wetterlings, like how, you know, they really, for, for a lot of us watching them on the news, I mean, Patty Wetterling became a public figure and mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you know, put them on a pedestal, of course, and you, you admire them from afar. But uh, once you get to know them, they really are just like everybody else. And uh, I think the thing that surprised me most, although it shouldn't have, is just like what a great sense of humor they have. You know, they, they you know, that's one of the ways we, we cope with hard things in the world. And they, they're just really wonderful, warm people to be around. But even that extra, I mean, you can just feel the pain and the anguish that they're still obviously dealing with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely... I, you know, a lot of times when we found out what happened to Jacob, the, the word closure came up a lot in, in the media. And I know that people talk, mention that word to the Wetterlings. And I, and I know for them that they don't yeah. look at it that way. It's, it was like it bro broke, broke open a whole new level of grief for them. And, and they're, um, you know, it's inspiring how they move forward. But um, uh, it's, yeah, it was, it was pretty momentous. Mm. Can you talk? quickly then about the trailer release party because sure. that's why you're here today that's happening tonight yes we're it we're showing a, a little sample of the the film and uh, what the film is likely to look like we're raising money right now to try and get into the editing phase and so if people can't make it to the event they can also help out online anybody even even 20 bucks or 30 bucks makes a difference so we're hoping the community can rile, rally around us and how can we find that gofundme page through the jacob wetterling film.com website yes get jacob wetterling film.com okay thank you so much yeah, for coming you. in great Thanks. work coming up on today's show what you should know before booking that next cruise